pills. They're the Western world's solution to all our ills. And doctors prescribe billions of them every year. But in Asia, things are different. Here, they've been treating everyday aches with traditional herbal remedies for thousands of years. Traditional Chinese medicine teaches that eating ants can help you stay young and that bee stings can cure anything from rheumatism to arthritis. One of the most popular herbal remedies is based on an ancient ointment used by the emperors of China called tiger balm. How do they do it? Singapore, the gateway to Asia, and home of the Hawpa Corporation, makers of Tiger Bar. This factory produces around 50 million jars of this potent ointment every year, for sale in a hundred countries. For over a thousand years, traditional Chinese medicine has claimed that any part of a tiger has medicinal properties, even its poo. But other than its name, tiger balm has nothing whatsoever to do with tigers. This ointment is used for aches and pains, itches and allergies. But head honcho Mr Han claims some people have got wind of another possible use. The other thing is that tiger balm is excellent for, for flatulence. When you have taken a lot of food and you are, you are, you are full of, a lot of uh, gas in your stomach, tiger balm relieves it very, very effectively. And this is something which not many consumers know, but those who found out are very happy with it. The balm's recipe was brought from China over 140 years ago by a herbalist from the imperial court named Or Chu Kin. He passed it on to his sons. The ointment was named after the eldest son, the gentle tiger, Or Boon Ho. The manufacturing process begins with measuring out the same herbs that inspired the 19th century pharmacists who invented Bengay and Fix Vapor Rub. Menthol and camphor. It's really clever. Camphor and menthol work to distract the brain. They act on the nerves that carry pain signals and have them send hot and cold signals instead. The boffins here then add clove, kajaput and mint oils to the cooling menthol and pain cling camphor. There's still a lot that we don't understand about pain. But it is known, for example, that women report suffering more pain than men. And bizarrely, redheads need 19% more pain relief than everyone else. Maybe that also explains why they're statistically twice as likely to avoid a visit to the dentist. In a secure processing room, the raw ingredients are carefully blended together in stainless steel tanks and mixed with melted petroleum jelly to make it easy to apply. Petroleum jelly is great for soothing skin. The best known brand is probably Vaseline and its inventor, Robert Cheeseborough, had so much faith in his product that he ate a spoonful every day. Couldn't have done him too much harm since he lived to the age of 96. It may have been a good marketing ploy for Robert Cheeseborough, but this ointment is strictly not for internal consumption. After blending, it's sent for bottling. Tiger Balm has been sold in the same hexagonal jars since the 1930s, chosen by Or Boon Ho to help his product stand out from rivals. Hexagons are one of nature's best shapes. They're found in honeycombs, ice crystals and basalt columns. And they're great because they fit together without leaving any gaps. With the little hexagons inspected and approved, they're filled up at a rate of 80 19-gram jars a minute. That's over half a tonne of ointment every day. But the warm ointment is still too runny, so it's left to cool for 10 minutes. As it cools, the balm turns from clear to opaque. Next, they whiz off along a conveyor belt and pass through this capping machine. The arms of the machine turn in one direction and the jars are spun the opposite way, fastening the lids tightly. From there, it's onto the labelling machine. 
This machine has been custom designed to neatly apply the labels around the six edges of the hexagonal jars. Finally, they're put in boxes ready for dispatch. The company sells over 140,000 jars of Tiger Balm every day. And if thinking about that gives you a headache, you could always try some ointment for yourself.